You tell me how a woman with a penis down her throat who's gagging, how that is in any way art. Since when did women exchanging bodily fluids and a little light bondage become the most obscene thing in the land? Well, we're just not going to put up with the pornographers running the country any longer. When you take people having sex, adults that want to do it, that enjoy what they're doing, how could that be obscene? The whole concept of obscenity is obscene. The right to see South Park may actually depend on the right to watch Butt Busters 3. John Stalliano uh, has been indicted on several accounts of obscenity. Uh, these are federal charges. He was basically the father of what we call gonzo, which is the really hardcore body punishing sex act that are now routine in pornography. And he's been charged not for his own work, but he's been charged for videos and a trailer that his company has distributed. Uh, they are all done by some of the top people in the industry, and these are people that John chose uh, to do these videos. Mine being Milk Nymphos, which is the, the milk enemas, uh, Joey Silvera's movie, which is the, uh, the squirting, and it was a Belladonna trailer. The day after he was indicted, he told me, thank you, I, I appreciate what you did for me, and I, I want to prove to the world that this, this is not obscene. He stands strongly for what he believes. Well, the material is, uh, in many respects, typical of what's available today. And uh, I'd be surprised if they wouldn't get a conviction. I was the chief of the child exploitation and obscenity section at the Department of Justice, and I ended my tenure about 17 years ago. The United States Department of Justice enforces federal obscenity laws, which are the laws against illegal pornography. Our war on illegal pornography is against the pornographers. The court has never said that obscene pornography is protected speech. It's not enough for some people to say, I uh, don't want to have group sex in a commercial venue, and you shouldn't have the opportunity to do that if you want to. It's not at all what I think is obscene. It's what the Supreme Court says may be found to be obscene. And the Supreme Court, in the case of Miller versus California, 1973, issued a decision that has a three-part test. The first part of it, the two that speak to community standards, whether a reasonable person in the community would find uh, the material to be appealing to prurient interests, or the second community standard, whether a reasonable person in the community would find the material to be patently offensive. And then the third, which is a national standard, I mean, does the material have any serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value? Essentially, it is hardcore pornography. And the Supreme Court, after the three-part test, set out what kind of hardcore pornography may be found to be obscene. Actual or simulated sexual acts, whether it's oral sex or sexual intercourse. Anal fetishism. Graphic sex acts or lewd exhibition of the genitals. Regular intercourse or anal intercourse. Or a woman being anally, vaginally, and orally penetrated at the same time. Even lascivious exhibition of the genitals or pubic area. A lot of people don't realize that that could be prosecuted as obscene. We're here to talk about the war on illegal adult pornography known under the law as obscenity. We need to basically organize a movement that says that the pornographers have hijacked our sexuality, has hijacked our culture, and our job is to take it back. We're asking Congress to tell the Justice Department to enforce the laws that Congress has passed. A lot of the prosecutions have gone after the low-hanging fruit because they're easy to win, and that's okay. You can go after the low-hanging fruit. But I think we would see a much bigger cleanup if you will, of all this hardcore material out there if they went after some of the more higher hanging fruit. We've got a war on illegal pornography and we're going to win it. It's a war to take away the rights that people actually have to do things, to say things, to feel things that some people don't think they should have the right to do. I love porn. I mean, it's, it's who I am. I mean, I'd still watch porn even if I wasn't doing this, but for me, it's, it's a way of life. My cardinal rule is it's always about the girl having fun, showing that she can express herself on camera, and I'm going to try and make it artistic with the costumes, the set, even the sex, and the acts that we do. And that's what I hope the general public will accept porn as 
professional and, and fun. People who are afraid of sexuality, they are vigorously uh, pursuing whatever means they can to regulate other people's sexuality. We go to these kinds of uh, cultural phenomena uh, to be able to be shocked, to be able to be grossed out, to be able to have our curiosity satisfied about bodies and organs that might be different from our own. These videos are meant to gross you out. You know, they're meant to make you think about uh, you know, what's acceptable in our culture and to really challenge those boundaries about what's acceptable to you. If people want the right to do what they want to do, they have to protect the rights of other people to do what other people want to do. I don't want the federal government to take away John's freedom. When I was in charge for about five years, we never lost an obscenity case because jurors around America understand what is obscene. It's unbelievable that in the United States, there's actually pictures and words that you can't sell because the government decides that it's obscene. They have no right to pornographize the culture. The pornographers know exactly what they're doing and they're not going to respond to anything but the stick of the law. The federal government can never take porn away. Porn is here and it's going to stay. When I tried it, I discovered that I liked it. You know, it put a different spin on my life. So I'm planning to try all sorts of things. <laughs> all of this sexually oriented stuff is connected. And that's why if you want to watch South Park, you have to protect the right of somebody else to watch some porn thing that you yourself wouldn't dream of looking at, or at least you wouldn't admit it. I just want to say that uh, I love these movies. I make them, I sell them, and that uh, I'm really glad that some other people do so that I could uh, have a business that sells this stuff. Broken Always trying to spend my time. Collagen injections injected right into my brain.